Hi friends, welcome to Biology Tutor. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button for notification. Today I am going to share you with cheese, Dairy Technology Day 8, Food Safety Officer Day 63. Today's topic is cheese. Cheese. Cheese is the product obtained by draining after the coagulation of milk with a harmless milk coagulating agent under the influence of harmless bacterial cultures. It is valued for its portability, long life and high content of fat, protein, calcium and phosphorus. Types of cheese Cheese can be ripened or unripened, soft or semi-hard, hard and extra hard product which is coated with food grade waxes or polyfilms and in which the whey protein or casein ratio does not exceed that of milk. Unripened cheese types of cheeses first one is unripened cheese fresh cheese it is cheese which is ready for consumption shortly after manufacture example jet toast and my sauce ripened cheese not ready for consumption shortly after manufacture it is ripened or aged to bring about certain biochemical and physical changes characteristics to a particular cheese example limburger pork salad mold ripened cheese ripened cheese Ripening is by mold growth through the interior and or on the surface of the cheese. Example, braille and camembert. Standards of cheese according to FSSAR 2011. Two factors are taken into account here. The first one is maximum, maximum moisture content and second one is minimum milk fat. Please read this table. Classification of cheese. Very hard. Moisture content less than 35% ripened by bacteria example parmesan and romano cheese hard cheese depends upon the moisture content the classification of cheese first one I have told you that one first one is very hard second one is hard cheese moisture content should be less than 40% a ripened by bacteria without eyes example cheddar cheese ripened by bacteria with eyes example Swiss cheese third one semi hard cheese Moisture content should be in between 40 to 47 percentage ripened by bacteria brick ripened by bacteria and surface micro uh, microorganisms example Limburger ripened by blue mold external example camembert internal gorgonzola blue and rock watches soft cheese moisture content of greater than 47 percentage unripened one example cottage cheese and ripened one new shuttle outline of cheese manufacture milk selection pre-treatment and standardization of the milk next the cheese milk addition of tartar culture that is known as acidification next the color and calcium chloride action that is optional addition of calcium chloride and color is optional coagulation rennet or acid Produce in situ or added or heat or by acid, coagulum, gel, next the curds, next fresh cheese production, next maturing of cheese. Starter cultures used. There are two different types of starter cultures used over here. The first one is mesophilic and the second one is thermophilic. First one, mainly two types of starter cultures are used. Mesophilic means optimum temperature of 30 degree used in the production of cheddar, gouda, edam, blue and camembert. Thermophilic optimum temperature of 45 degrees Celsius is used. It is used in making Swiss and Italian varieties. Right side you can see a table. Here cottage and camembert cheese. Here tartar cultures used are Lactococcus lactic subspecies lactis, Lactococcus lactic subspecies cremoris. Leuconostoc mesendroid subspecies Cremoris. In the case of Gouda, Lactococcus lactic subspecies Lactis, Leuconostoc 
is android subspecies crimoris in the case of cheddar cheese lactococcus lactis lactis subspecies lactis streptococcus lactis subspecies crimoris emmental cheese streptococcus thermophilus lactobacillus helveticus lactococcus lactis lactis subspecies bulgaricus propionium bacterium shermani parmesan cheese starter cultures like lactobacillus delbrueckii subspecies bulgaricus streptococcus thermophilus lactococcus lactis subspecies lactis lactococcus lactis subspecies crimoris are used rennet what is rennet rennet is a complex of enzymes the active enzymes in rennet rennet is chymosin or rennin others are pepsin and lipase natural calf rennet is extracted from the inner mucosa of the fourth stomach chamber known as abomasum of young calves rennin is very powerful clotting agent at ph of 6.2 to 6.4 milk clotting enzymes from plants are pepain from papaya ficin from ficus carica bromelain from pineapple microbial rennet from bacteria streptococcus liquefaciens micrococcus caseolyticus bacillus cereus bacillus polymyxa bacillus mesentericus bacillus coagulans and bacillus subtilis are used in the case of fungi aspergillus nidulans aspergillus gallicus syncephalastrum racemosum and cladosporium herbarum recombinant rennet or chymosin e coli clivoromyces lactis and aspergillus niger variety avamori are used cheese additives salt about 2% of the weight of the curd acidulans lactic acid which is produced in situ by lactic acid bacteria in milk chemicals of food grade quality example lactic glacial acetic lemon juice vinegar d glucono delta lactone and phosphoric acid calcium chloride added at 0.02% it strengthens what is the function of calcium chloride it strengthens the curd making it less susceptible to shattering at the time of cutting and stirring it increases cheese yield too color anato is used extracted from seeds of the plant bixa orellana anato is extracting from bixa orellana bleaching agents some of the customers prefer the white cheese in such cases bleaching agents such as benzoyl peroxide or hydrogen peroxides are used flavors spices herbs and smocks beverages may also be added cheese ripening most crucial step in cheese making it refers to the physical and biochemical changes that take place in cheese when it is being held under specific and controlled conditions also called cheese maturation or affinage cheese maturation or cheese ripening is also called affinage two important parameters that influence cheese ripening are temperature and relative humidity packaging materials used are paper coated or lined parchment aluminum foil polythene propylene treated cellulose and cellulose acetate example cellophane polystyrene polyester polyamide like nylon rubber hydrochloride example cryovac saran a mixed polymer laminates etc are used for packaging some types of cheeses swiss cheese example emmental cheese Propionium bacterium Charmani produces ice in cheese. Ice are bubbles of carbon dioxide. The acetate and propionic acid give Swiss its nutty and sweet flavor. Brick and Limburger cheese. Brevi bacterium linens imparts reddish orange color. Which bacterium imparts reddish orange color? Brevi bacterium linens. The strong smell of Limburger is due to this bacteria. Blue cheese 
cheeses that have cultures of the malt penicillium final product is spotted or veined throughout with blue or blue gray malt example roquefort cheese blue stilton cheese danish blue cheese gorgonzola and maisella cheese dutch cheeses gouda edam and limburgers are dutch cheeses whey cheese ricotta it is originated in italy it is the most important and popular cheese of this type others misitra brown cheese maisos or brunost cottage cheese traditionally made without rennet and is coagulated with an acid ingredient like vinegar or lemon juice made using pasteurized skim milk defects in cheese body and texture defects crumbly or short due to excess salt or acid pasty due to excess moisture content weak breaks down too quickly when worked by hand due excess fat or moisture corky due to over cooking low fat low moisture or excess salt mealy associated with excess acidity gassy means early gas defects due to coliforms late gas due to clostridium butyricum or perfringens yeast slits due to yeast growth flavor defects acid flavor high moisture or too much starter salting too late or too little which causes acid flavor bitter flavors high moisture excess rennet bitter cultures high ripening temperature cause bitter flavors fruity or yeasty flavors due to high ph and bitterness and yeast slits are also produce will also produce yeast flavors or fruity flavors unclean flavors are reminiscent of the barnyard and associated with coliforms wet taint it is due to high moisture and is usually associated with acid defects including bitterness color defects acid cut or pink or bleached due to low ph or oxidation of anatta motil defect means acid defect or caused by mixing cheese from different vats semi it is usually seen in cheddar cheese greasy curd or improper salting causes semi defects rusty spots means presence of anaerobic lactic microorganisms moisture and lactose other defects rind rot caused by mites or mold mineral deposits due to calcium lactate thank you if you like this channel please share and subscribe don't forget to click the bell button for notifications don't forget to write the exam on 3rd august 2020 at 6 pm